Why not? Why not? Teeth are very much a part of the picture. After all, they're good for smiling. For singing. For looking best and for looking at. Certainly for eating. We need them, use them, look best with them, like to look at them. But not everybody has these. Babies don't. They don't need them yet. Soon they do. First, first teeth. Then first lessons in brushing teeth. Later, the dental gap precedes the generation gap with freckles and pigtails. Second teeth replace first teeth. Sometimes, to keep the space for second teeth, when first teeth are lost too early, her family dentist might temporarily fill the gap with a space maintainer. Lack of care of first teeth could result in second teeth coming in crowded or uneven. If so, orthodontic treatment will bring them into proper functional relationship for speaking, eating, and looking healthy, a part of the early teen picture. It's well worth it later when she and her dentist see the results. A functional dental structure, and with good care, healthy gums and teeth. And that's why almost everybody on the young side of the generation gap should have all his or her teeth. But that was not always true. Prehistoric man lived a hard, short life. Housing was inadequate by today's standards, to say the least. Food was hard to come by. Fierce beasts roamed fields and forests to be hunted barehanded or with primitive weapons. A hard life. With coarse food, primitive man often had good teeth, but poor gums. Pity the Stone Age man or woman with a dental problem. Even in recent cultures, loss of teeth remained an expected and accepted part of aging. You couldn't trust a man over 30 to have all his teeth. George Washington, by middle age, had none. He wore spring-loaded wood or ivory dentures and a pained expression. Imagine Valley Forge and a sore mouth, too. More recently, on our western frontier, the traveling dentist extracted teeth, but he did little about saving teeth. His claim of painless extraction was somewhat exaggerated. But since our frontier days, we've made a lot of progress. soft processed foods. Much of our diet is sweet, an ideal environment for producing acids that attack tooth enamel. Without regular and effective brushings, deposits form on teeth. It is during these early years the teeth get a good start or a bad one. Ho oh, hum. Now a short pause for the message. About toothbrushing and proper dental care. Have we heard that? And why not? Because sometimes the message doesn't get through. For example, this one's a good case in point. You wouldn't know it, but he's the school's budding engineer and mechanical genius. He spends every spare daytime hour, all his allowance, and all he can earn on his cream puff dune buggy. Everything that isn't chromed is painted. At the first sign of rust or before it, he gets out the wire brush and the paint can. That paint job took 18 coats of lacquer, hand rubbed. With 18 coats of lacquer, you take care. A daily polish and dust job keeps it mirror bright. How often have I told you not to sit on it? The engine room has all the goodies. Right now, the proud builder and owner is cleaning the carburetor. He knows that in performance and appearance, cleanliness is next to winning prizes. How many times is the car miss going the distance because of just one speck of dust or dirt? But for them, the distance is like 72 years. And only one thin layer of tooth enamel, which cannot be replaced. 
For another example, this one doesn't usually make up in a paint job mirror. On her dresser is half a drugstore counter of cosmetics. Getting ready for a date, her hair gets a hundred brush strokes, preceded by a wash, cream rinse, and steam set, followed by a thorough inspection. Meanwhile, outside, it's date time. Well, approximately. He can usually figure on doing tomorrow's science assignment. Inside by now, the skin routine. Cleanser, moisturizer, a meticulous makeup routine, all for that natural, casual, unspoiled look. I'll be right out. And she will because it only takes her 10 seconds to brush her teeth. ambitions. She's going to be an airline hostess, high fashion model, pop singer, actress. So naturally she thinks of her waistline when she eats. Then just a sip of chocolate malt. That's after brushing her teeth and hours before she will again. brushed his teeth after breakfast, but probably before it. Teeth? Care of teeth and gums? Who thinks of that? A dentist does. He prefers the teeth be clean to avoid decay, gum disease, and missing teeth. That's why at the drop of a toothbrush, he'll see that his patients are advised on care of teeth and gums, how to brush, and how often. At least after each meal, starting on the gums, being sure to brush properly. That same old message everybody's heard so often. No dentist likes a gap in dental care. Her 10-second brushing is not the fault of her dentist. He certainly told her about tooth decay that can happen even in the loveliest mouth. But the rest is up to her. Like most dentists, he has demonstration models, literature and posters of all sorts promoting dental health. For the same reason, his office manager keeps files for patient recall. Because all dentists are concerned about dental health in their offices and in their communities. They want their patients to continue to come back with teeth, healthy teeth. The in thing with dentists is keeping teeth in.